A local man says he'll continue to fight for a change in immigration laws to reunite his family. President Biden's new executive action allows some undocumented spouses of U.S. citizens to remain in this country without fear of deportation. But as Fox 5's Deidre Dukes reports, some say more needs to be done for those living outside the U.S. President Biden's new executive order will allow for more than a half million mixed status families to remain in the U.S. living together while seeking citizenship. But one local man says it doesn't do enough for his family and others. I was happy for the families that it will help because it's, it is going to help some families, um, but disappointed because it, at the way it's written. Jason Rochester had mixed reaction to President Biden's executive order, which allows some undocumented spouses of U.S. citizens to apply for citizenship without fear of deportation. At the moment, it won't help me uh, because my wife is currently outside of the country, and this uh, executive action is only for people that are actually inside of the country. Rochester's wife is a Mexican national. Cecilia Gonzalez Carmona was in the country illegally when she self-deported in 2018 after getting bad legal advice, making her ineligible to apply for residency under the new plan. 70% of Americans support this effort to keep families together. President Biden's executive order protects more than half a million illegal immigrants from deportation. To qualify, a person must be married to a U.S. citizen and have lived in the U.S. for at least 10 years with no criminal record. Undocumented children under 21 with a parent who is married to a citizen are also eligible. The president says it will keep families together, but Republicans oppose the measure. This is the most pro-amnesty, open borders president in American history, and now he's granting mass amnesty. It's outrageous. Rochester has joined other families lobbying lawmakers to change immigration law and remains hopeful the president will take further action in coming months that will allow his wife to join Rochester and their son in the U.S. And this whole thing is supposed to be to prevent family separation. Well, our families are already separated, so we need relief also. In Atlanta, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News.